days after Florence first hit our state, we continue to feel the effects of this massive storm. An update today from North Carolina's governor where floodwaters are rising. In some areas, flooding can stick around for weeks. Now, this tweet from a North Carolina police department really illustrating the situation well, saying you can clearly see the water levels rising in the Cape Fear River as we compare photos from Sunday to today. Let me zoom in on those for you. On Sunday, you can see the gap between the bridge and the top of the water. By Monday, that gap is shrinking. And finally, by today, no gap at all. We're on an island right now, and the few that may go in and out, like I said, no gasoline. So I've heard people when I'm in line for food, you know, they were stranded here, no gas, people are waiting at gas stations. Rising waters cutting off some communities like Wilmington, North Carolina. Across the state, more than 1,100 roadways are closed. And officials warn flooding could get worse before it gets better. Currently, there are 16 rivers at major flood stage, with an additional three forecast to peak at major flood stage tomorrow and Thursday. And the death toll is rising to more than 30 in the wake of Hurricane Florence, at least 26 confirmed deaths in North Carolina alone. The state reporting that more than 2,200 people have been rescued so far. I think the next 48 hours are going to be incredibly critical. FEMA Administrator Brock Long saying today getting the roads back open is key to restoring power to the more than 344,000 customers still in the dark. Some of these rivers still haven't crested yet, which is incredibly frustrating not only to you wanting to go home, but it's incredibly frustrating to the responders. Estimates of damage from the storm ranging as high as $22 billion. The U.S. president who welcomed Poland's president to the White House today will be traveling tomorrow to see some of the hurricane damage firsthand when he visits the Carolinas.